Okay, so this yes. is a mixture of like, it's like tomatoes and what was it? Blackberries. Tomatoes and blackberries. It's quite good, the, the, the fruit. Okay, so now we are at the fruit market and we're going to have borojo juice and it's an aphrodisiac fruit. So she says this is an aphrodisiac and Linda wants a lot more of it. <laughs> Okay, so this is, this is cheese and ice cream. What kind of ice cream is it? It's like a peanut ice cream with a lot of like mandarina. Mandarina. Tangerina. Tangerina. Tangerine. Tangerina con peanuts. And peanut. Yes. With cheese. Yes, okay. with cheese. We're going to try this. We're in the part of the market now where they recycle things. Here we've got recycled toilets. But just about any, anything you can think about is here. And you can buy it used and in some cases new. There's all our stereos we threw away 20 years ago. And our TVs. This is one of the largest cathedrals uh, in the world made like this one. It's made with bricks and the material is called calicanto, which is the mix of sand and blood of dead animals. And blood of dead animals. We saw one in another country, but the, but the grout, which is in between, the, was red. It was kind of right. red. So this area we're entering here is uh, one, of the, one of the tolerance areas, which is the legal area for prostitution, and in this case, for uh, transvestites. And they're always located close to churches, and here's a church store where they sell things for you to build like an altar at your home. Okay, so right now we're in the uh, tolerance zone in Medellin City and in this area in particular they have like different places where they use storage recycling uh, things but also a small residence and hotels where people come and, and have sex for a few minutes and then just go. So home this building on the corner is more or less just to go in and rent a room for a few exactly, minutes? Exactly, yes. And the people in this area, in this tolerance zone are the transvestites? Yes. Primarily? So my good Catholic girlfriend has come in one of the one of the church stores to look at some of the some of the church things. What is it you're looking for, Linda? A rosary. A rosary. She's looking for a rosary. This is the flea market area, one of many. So we're having a traditional dinner here with pork, and sausage, and beans. It's called bandeja paisa. Bandeja paisa. Bandeja paisa. Yes. And then this is a regional favorite, which is a soup. And what are the ingredients in it? Papa, potato, yuca. Yuca, which is a root. Yuca, yes. A plantain, corn. Arepa as well. Plantain, corn. And carrots. And carrots. Similar to what we had in Bogota. Bogota, it was excellent. Okay, so all these people are gathered. This is right in the center of town, at this building. But they're all gathered here, and they're all trading. There's no money changing hands. Uh, one person will trade a watch for a hat, or a bracelet for some sunglasses, or whatever. And everybody's just got things here. And they're looking, holding things out, seeing if there's something somebody else might have that they want. Linda's cruising around to see if she sees anything she might want to trade for. So all these people are showing her things that they think she might want to trade for. Okay, so if she touches the penis, she's going to find eternal love. So the famous fat person artist, uh, Bogota, I forget his name, she told us, there are only 20, 22 of his statues here in this square at this famous building. So this is the tolerance area for the prostitutes, uh, the women prostitutes. And it's right by that downtown square. This is what's called an invisible neighborhood. 
and it's for the poorest strata or poorest people, and it has no utilities. They were the first country in the world to use cable cars for public transportation. They have four lines like this. Sometimes they steal electricity. They don't have any running water, but they may have some, some bad water. And mostly they don't have sewer. Yeah, we made the climb. I don't know how many steps it is, but it's a long way. All the way to the bottom down there. Only certain cars are allowed to come up. I guess we're not VIP enough. So after you do the big walk, then you finally make it to the escalator. Right out here in the middle of all this swaller. There's an escalator. Take it up to the, up to the top. Where all the graffiti art is. Said in this community here there are about 2,000 barbers all tucking their little closet kind of places just cutting hair.